Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be continuing the conversion of benzaldehyde to benzylic acid experiment. In part B of this experiment, we'll prepare benzyl using the benzoin product from part A. We will use nitric acid to oxidize the benzoin to benzyl. Let's get started. To begin, we will add approximately 0.3 grams of the benzoin product from part A to a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of benzoin that we will be using is 0 0.3080 grams. I've added the benzoin to the five milliliter conical vial and we will next add 1.5 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid and a spin vane to the conical vial. We will then attach the conical vial to an air condenser and heat the conical vial in a 70 degrees Celsius hot water bath with stirring for one hour. During the one hour heating period, red nitrogen oxide gases will be evolved. After cooling for a few minutes, I've detached the conical vial from the air condenser and we will next add four milliliters of ice cold water to a small beaker. We will then transfer the reaction mixture from the conical vial to the beaker with the ice cold water and we'll rinse the conical vial with a small amount of water. We will then cool the beaker with the reaction mixture in an ice bath until crystals have formed. After crystallization has completed, we will collect the crude benzyl product by using vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel. While the crude benzyl product continues to dry, we will pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.4417 grams. We will next collect the crude benzyl product on the pre-weighed watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the crude benzyl is 35.7231 grams. I've transferred the crude benzyl product to a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and we will now perform a semi-microscale recrystallization of the crude product using boiling hot 95% ethanol. Use the ratio of approximately five milliliters of 95% ethanol per 0.5 grams of crude benzoyl product to estimate the amount of 95% ethanol that you will need for the recrystallization. As the solution cools, we will seed it with a solid product that forms on a spatula after the spatula is dipped into the solution.
After the flask has cooled to room temperature, we will place it in an ice bath to complete crystallization. After crystallization is complete, we will collect the purified benzo crystals using vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel. We will use ice cold 95% ethanol to aid in the transfer of the recrystallized benzo. While the purified benzo crystals continue to dry, we will next pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.2547 grams. We will next collect the purified benzo crystals on the pre-weighed watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the purified benzyl crystals is 35.4758 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of the purified benzyl. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the melting point, and analyze the IR spectrum of benzyl. Make sure you save your purified benzyl product for part C, the preparation of benzylic acid of the multi-step reaction sequence experiment. This concludes part B of this experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.